catching up. So it's Anthony Sams and Jack Wood. Sam it in. Wood just steers that one. Fine for a single. I think they're just getting everything up and organised here. Jack Wood, who's on fire, it's none for 13 in the first over. We're just getting everything organised here. So we get ourselves all set. In fact, it's Luke Courtney bowling the opening over. <coughs> Excuse me. So we'll catch you up on everything in a moment. There we go, now we've got vision up on the screen. And I can tell you it's none for 14 after one over. So we'll just get ourselves up to date here. Scoring not quite up to speed with the scoreboard. Showing Sam's on seven, Wood on two. That one has been crushed away to the boundary. The dive in vain. Another boundary. Start of the new over, Anthony Sam's. Up to six. That was Blake Smith opening from the... Emerald Hills end. So it's none for 18. Smith around the wicket. And he's stumped. They've stumped Anthony Stams. Nice work there. Blake Smith did well. The Ghosts celebrate. Nicely bowled there. So Sam's stumped, stumped Patterson, bold Smith. And he's gone for six. I just have to double check myself here. He's gone for six off six. And it's one for 14. <coughs> Excuse me. So Blake Smith striking early. Out comes Jason Sanger at number three. Just trying to confirm the lineup for Randwick, Petersham. This ball into the offside and they'll make four out of that. Lovely shot there for four runs. 
So it's 1 4 22. We've got Wood on 11. And Sanger on 4. Make that 5 as that one goes down the leg side. To Nathan Baker, who's in the team this afternoon. AJ Mosca dropping out of the team that played this morning. He was in the morning match. Nathan Baker comes in. That's the one change for Campbelltown. Wood turns that around the corner. Patterson scurries out. No run. And you can hear us on the live stream for those watching the coverage. Great to have you along. This is Mike Sheen from MacArthur Sports Radio with you this afternoon. You can text us as well, 0490 403 933. That one nearly gets through Wood. Another dot into the over. One for 23 after two. Randwick Petersham batting first after winning the toss. So, Campbelltown striking early with a wicket through through Blake Smith in the second over. He has one for nine. And now we'll have a change of bowler from the Raby end, the far end as we see it. You can text us, I should say again, 0490 403 933. Let us know where you're watching. Put your name and your location on it. We'd love to hear from you this afternoon. Looks like... Uh, looks like Jackson Osaka. Is it from the far end, the Emerald Hills end? First ball of the third over now. In they come. Sanger drives to mid off. They wanted the single. It wasn't there. And no run. Score remains one for 23 in the third. That's Henry Rails, in fact. One of the new signings for Campbelltown this season, along with AJ Mosker and Justin Mosca rails in. That one's lofted down the ground all the way for six. That was in the slot for that was in the slot for Jason Sanger. Sanger's 11 as is Jack Wood. And he'll go to 12 with a push to mid off for the single. Good start here for Randwick Petersham. And already got uh, Ryan Freeman's parents watching from Old Bar on the north coast. Great to have you along. Hope you're enjoying the coverage this afternoon. Mum and Dad send their support, Ryan. I'm sure he's not, uh, he hasn't got an earpiece in. But I'm sure if he watches the replay, he'll be happy to hear that. That one beats Wood outside off through to Tom Patterson, the keeper. No run. He bowled well this morning, Ryan Freeman. Bowled very well. Took a wicket. Uh, finished up with one for 27 off his four overs this morning. For those who missed it, Campbelltown defeating Wests by eight wickets. Chasing down 123. Campbelltown did it easily. 
Cries of catch. That's over the fence for six. Just had to check for a moment, but that was all the way for six more. And that's one for 36. That's the scoreboard updates. One for 36. With Senga 12 and Wood 17. Certainly been a positive start from Randwick Petersham. They won earlier today in the morning match. Defeating Easts comfortably in the end. Randwick Petersham 6 for 188. Easts 5 for 162 in reply. Baxter Holt made 74 for the Dolphins, but it was in vain. Just having a chat with the club official here, Campbelltown official Jason Ellsmore. Yes, everything's in working order, Chase. Good to see. End of the over, that's three overs down. One for 36 here at Raby. And are we going to see Blake Smith again? I don't think we are. No, we're not. We're going to see Tom... No. No, it will be Blake Smith, sorry. It will be Blake Smith for a second over. One over. One for nine. That's his figures. So far today, he comes round the wicket. Bowling to Jason Sanger, who reverse sweeps over the top in front of the scoreboard, and that'll race into the fence for four. Lovely shot from Jason Sanger. He goes to 16. One for 40. <coughs> Lovely reverse sweep from Jason Sanger. What's he going to do this time? Smith around the wicket to him. He drives more conventionally into the covers. Doesn't get a run. Run rate going at 10.8 if you don't mind. For Randwick Petersham, a lot of these supporters here this afternoon. Again, he reverse sweeps this one a lot finer, but that'll be the same result, I dare say. That crashes into the fence for four more. I was right. Sanger to 21 for 44. Campbelltown really under the pump this afternoon in the early stages here. One for 44. On the scoreboard. This time he turns it through. Square leg. Baker doesn't get there. In fact, it's one for 44, so it's one for 48. Baker made the dive in the deep but couldn't cut it off. The young leg spinner. And it's one for 48. This time he nearly reverses into the gloves of Tom Patterson. No run there. And we've got conflicting scores here. I'll have to check my... I have to cross-check myself here. That's a lovely drive from Sanger for four. That's a lovely strike. One for go with the online the, the score here. One for sixty-two. That'll make it. One for sixty-two after four overs. Jason Sanger to twenty-eight. Jack Wood on seventeen, and it looks like it will be young Ryan Freeman. From the Raby end. Rails going for 13 off his first over. It's one for 62, I believe. 
one for 58, is it? In fact, after four overs, Freeman in, Wood steers it into point. Fielded by Smith, no run. Appeal for a court behind. They've all gone up except the umpire who didn't raise his finger. We saw that in the morning match. West's had a similar si situation and a similar result. Then it went for court behind, but no. No run. Freeman in, and one flat batted across the ground by Sanger, he'll take a single. And a 50 coming up for Randwick Petersham already, so off to a good start, one for 59 I'm going with here. One doesn't beat Patterson. Trying to steer it wide. No run. Wood 23 off 9. Senga 29 off 13. That one lofted high and hard and all the way through Cow Corner for six more. Lovely strike from Jack Wood. Loft gave that the full face of the bat. And it's one for 65, I think it is, after five overs. Yeah, one for 65. One for 66 after five. Trying to keep up with the scoreboard here. It'll be big Chad Samet coming in now for his first over. <coughs> Excuse me. Got Senger on 29, Wood on 29, Samet left arm left arm over comes in that one steed to the fielder at sort of a, a deepish gully, but no run. Samet back at the top of his mark at the Emerald Hills end of the ground. Runs away from us. Left arm over. That one turned through square leg. Baker, the fielder there, does well to keep it to only one. Good running there. Sanger to 30. Wood 29, one for 67.
One into the gap. Baker coming around to his left hand side. They'll turn two. Punch it through the offside and take one. And that's the 50 partnership coming up off 25 deliveries. Five fours and four sixes. It's one for 69. Sanger 30, Wood 32. Time down the leg side, a wide. It's only the second sundry of the innings so far in the sixth over. First wide, one no ball. Well, we had the no ball earlier. I think they're just readjusting the scoreboard here. Sam it in. That was a full toss outside off, and he swatted that through the offside beautifully for four. Cracking shot from Jack Wood to go to 34, or to 32 rather. And it's one for 75. Yeah, unfortunately, Sean, I, I was getting a, a message here from Sean Eaton in Vietnam. Unfortunately, we're having a, a few technical issues. I think we've resolved that as much as we can. Sam it around the wicket. Did he get an edge? He thought he did, but he was the only one who got excited. And that's the end of the over. That one going for nine. One for 75. It is... After six overs. Into the offside, doesn't beat Blake Smith diving there to prevent the single. Again, this one lofted high and wide through the point region for another boundary. One for 80, the score, I think it is, in the seventh over. The wicket to fall was Anthony Sams. That one's a full toss driven straight back down the ground past the stumps. They'll take one. And that's all. Sanger to 39. One for 81.
That one's been hit high. I don't think it's got enough on it. There's a man dropping back. And he takes the catch. That was Toby Flynn Duncan, the skipper, taking the catch. And Jack Wood makes his way. Great little cameo there from Jack Wood. And he's on his way now. The wicket falls. So it's two for 81. Ryan Freeman picks up his wicket as his customary in the innings. So Wood goes for 33 off 15. And it's 2 for 81. So the new man coming in. At number four. That is Alex Ross. You can hear the chat coming in from the players. Alex Ross, the new man at the crease. So it's Sanger 39 and Ross, well known in the T20 circles. What can he do at Raby facing Ryan Freeman? Just defends the first one down the pitch. No run. Two for 81 the score. Run rate at a tight, or oh, a tidy, an excellent 11.7 and over. They haven't got to seven overs yet. Freeman in from the Raby end, bowling to Ross. He pushes off the back foot, no run, doesn't get past Captain Toby Flynn Duncombe. He's the captain this season, that's the end of the over. A successful one for Campbelltown. Jack Wood on his way for 33. Caught Flynn Duncan, bold Freeman. It's two for 81 after seven. Don't forget the SMS line 0490 403 933. Let us know where you're watching from or listening this afternoon. Let us know where you're tuning into the action through MacArthur Sports Radio. And the live stream as well. Great to have you all tuned into the coverage wherever you are. Trust you're enjoying your Saturday afternoon wherever it, wherever it, it is. I'll spit it out in a moment. Wherever you're enjoying your Saturday. Could still be Friday night depending on where you are around the world. There's Wall of a new over from Samet into the deep for one. Two for 82 the score. Now it'll be Alex Ross, the right hander. Plenty of experience at Big Bash and Shield level. Wearing the, the green of Randwick. And comes. Courtney, in fact, into the attack. Took a single 
for Ross to get off the mark. Now a dot ball. Turn through square leg. I think there might be an issue here. The umpire at square leg. So one over the shoulder, in fact. So two for 84, the score line in the eighth over. One turn fine by Ross. He'll take one and that's all he'll get. He goes to two. Two for 85. Randwick had a big total in the morning session. Looking to do likewise in the afternoon. Courtney in. That one just punched to mid off. Captain Toby Flynn Duncombe does the fielding. Can't prevent the single. And it's the end of the over. Two for 86. After eight overs. <coughs> Excuse me. So now we'll see. Like it'll be big Chad Samet. To continue. Freeman two overs, one for 14. He's going to have a spell. Samet one over for nine. Jason Sanger 42, Alex Ross two. Wickets to fall. Anthony Sams stumped Patterson, bowled Smith for six. It was one for 14 in the second over. And then Jack Wood caught nicely by Toby Flynn Duncombe off the bowling of Ryan Freeman for 33 off 15. Two for 81 in the seventh over. They've only added four for Randwick's cause since then. Sam it in. Sanger slashes hard at that one. Finds the man at long off. They'll take a single. Two for 86. In fact, make that two for 87. Cricketers get nervous on 87, especially in Australia, so... I'm not sure if you're one of those types. Now, Sam at the big left armour. Round the wicket. Ross, playing a miss outside off through to Patterson. No run. Ball there from Samet. Drawing Ross into the... Well, he wanted the cut shot. Couldn't pick it out. Couldn't quite time it. Plenty of support coming from the Ghosts for Samet. He's in again. Ross beats the diving effort at Gully. I'll only get one, though. Courtney cleans up. Ross to three, two for 88, feet down. Jason Sanger, captain on 43. 43 off 24 balls in just under half an hour. And he'll bring up the 50 with a no ball. And a free hit, is it? So it's a no ball, plus one. Yep, there's the free hit signal. So no ball plus a run. Which puts Ross on strike. 2 for 90, I think it is now. 
Two for 90. Field can't change. Umpire's just making a note. Actually, I think the field can change because they took a run as well. Sam it in. Outside off, that's a wide. So it'll be a rebold wide plus free plus free hit, I think it is. Yep, there's the signal. Wide plus the free hit coming. Two for 91. Samet round the wicket to Ross, who goes high, very high, man camping under it. And he puts it down, the captain. Flynn Duncombe can't hold on to that one. They take a single. Two for 92. It's one of those dangerously high, long, lingering ones. Wouldn't sit comfortably for him. Ross goes to four. It's two for 90, 92. Samet to Sanger, who slashes hard through the covers, but there's a man out there in the deep. That's Nathan Baker, keeps it to one. Samet in, bowls, Ross cuts. Out to Baker in the deep. Nope, they'll take the single. That's the end of the over. An expensive one for Samet. Going off the official scoring, it's two for 91. Like Blake Smith will come in, come back into the attack. Campbelltown happy to stick with their five regular bowlers. They've got Nathan Baker, the league spinner, there as well. Smith around the wicket. Alex Ross 45, Jason Sang oh, sorry, Alex Ross 5, Jason Senga 45. That should be. 2 for 94, I think. Oh, the scoreboard showing 2 for 90. The different scores across everywhere. No, 2 for 93 sounds about right. 2 for 94 it might be, in fact. First ball of the new over. Now they'll turn it for one. Nice fielding there in the deep from Luke Courtney. So two for 93, two for 95 in fact. That one back down the ground. Doesn't get past Smith. No run. Blake Smith officially known as Smudge. In he comes. I'll take a single to the keeper's end. Throw was wide. They get through for the single. Two for 96, Ross to seven. Sanger 46. Smith in. Sanger goes hard. 
all the way for six. That one sent into the training nets. And that's the 50 for Jason Sanger. 52 off 28 in half an hour or 35 minutes, seven fours. And two sixes, you heard the applause. As he brought up the half century with another six. That one ended up out on the training, the practice nets. Smith into Sanger again. He goes hard along the ground this time. Out through the covers for a single. That's the end of the over. Smith three overs, one for 35. Run rate still merrily rolling along at better than 10. 10.3 and over at halfway. Two for 103 at the break or the halfway mark. Sanger 53, Ross 7. Wickets to fall today. Anthony Sams stumped Patterson. Bold Smith for 7. It was 1 for 18. And then Jack Wood caught Flynn Duncan. Bold Freeman 33 off 15. 2 for 81 was the score. It's now 2 for 103. It'll be Ryan Freeman back into the attack. This one gets through Smith. He's able to clean up but can't prevent the single. Score is two for 104. Mike Sheen with you on MacArthur Sports Radio and also through the Cricket New South Wales live stream. Great to have you along this afternoon from Raby. Freeman in again. This time they don't take on Smudger Smith, Blake Smith, no run. Freeman in his third over, one for 15. Ryan Freeman turns around in, he comes. It's a full ball, doesn't beat Flynn Duncombe this time. No run again for Alex Ross. Being denied by the Campbelltown Bowlers. 7 off 13. Strike rate of 53, mind you. Jack Wood. Strike rate of 220. And Jason Sanger going at 180. If you're a darts fan, that means a lot. He lofts that one into the deep. This time the catch is taken. This time Freeman gets the wicket. And Alex Ross is on his way. A lovely catch out in the deep. And that's the third wicket for Campbelltown. Ryan Freeman and the Ghosts celebrate. Three for 104 in the 11th over. A short and sharp burst from Alex Ross. He's on his way for seven. Campbelltown three for 104 in the 11th over. <laughs> New man coming in is Riley Air.
First ball for Air. Out to Flynn Duncombe, no run. <laughs> Sanger the Rock in this Randwick Petersham innings. 54 not out, watching at the non strikers end. Freeman around the wicket. Air punches that one. To deep point on the fence, they'll turn two and do it easily. Three for 106. That's the end of the over. A successful one for the Ghosts. Ryan Freeman has his second wicket, claiming Alex Ross for seven. Chad Samet to come back into the attack. Toby Flynn Duncan making the changes. Samet two overs, none for 17. Smith only the one over for 10. He's got three overs, one for 35. The young spinner. Samet in round the wicket. That one hooked off the hip. By Sanger, they'll take one, but that's all they'll get. Throw rocketed in from the deep. They only get one. Three for 107. Sanger 55, air two. Scoreboard here at the ground showing three for 102. I know they've had some issues with it this morning. Don't forget you can text us here this afternoon, 0490 403 933. Let us know where you're watching. Put your name on it as well so we can say hello. Sam it in. He has to jam down on it. No run. You put your name and where you're watching on it this afternoon. We'd love to say hello to you wherever you are. You might be sitting at home at uh, Coogee somewhere or out in the beautiful MacArthur. It's turned out to be an all right afternoon. I have to say the weather this morning... Been cloudy all day, but fine. No threat of rain so far, but certainly a cloudy Saturday. Temperature in the high teens, as expected, so certainly long sleeves the order of the day for most. Sam it in. Air drives on the on the up, couldn't get past Toby Flynn Duncombe. No run again. Raleigh Air struggling to get going. Two from four. Samet wheels away from us. Air. Did he get an edge on that? The umpire says he did. He's on his way. Samet gets a wicket. Air on his way for two. Four for 107. Randwick Petersham in their innings. That's the 12th over. So now Randwick getting themselves into a little bit of trouble here. Coming in is uh, Ben Mitchell. Just had to check my notes. 
Ben Mitchell, the new man to the crease. Running at number six. Mitchell, it's his first ball at the crease. Four for 107 in the 12th over, the final ball coming up. And just bunted down the ground. Mitchell wanted the single but not given it. Work there from Nick Appleton. Preventing the single once again. End of the over. 12 down. It's 4 for 107. Sanger 55. Mitchell yet to score. Summit 3 overs. 1 for 18. Looks like it'll be... Henry Rails, one of the new signings for Campbelltown. Back into the attack. Rails coming across from Penrith. Freeman just the one over, one for three. Now Rails, the left armour from the Raby end. Sanger slaps at that one over the head of the man at a deepish gully. They'll turn two. Sanger to 57, four for 109. Run rate at tick under nine and over. So again, they'll be posting about a 180 score. They'll back themselves in to defend this. Rails in, bowling to Sanger. Turns it off the hip. Through square leg. Do they want a second? No. Good defence from Campbelltown. Jackson Asaka out in the deep, keeping it to one. Four for 110. Over number 13. Umpire just crossing over to square leg on the leg side. Looks like deep third going right back. Rails to Mitchell. He gets an outside edge, a leading edge. Out to Osaka. This time they will take two. Couldn't prevent the second there. Jackson Osaka on that occasion. Four for 114. Rails, left arm over, Mitchell just steers it back down the pitch, Rails able to get across and field in his follow through, preventing a single, looking at the run rate, the worm is steadily dropped here for Randwick Petersham, it's down to 8.8, .8. I say down, it was peaking up around 14 and over early on, the last couple of wickets has certainly slowed the run rate. Had a full toss, umpire says no. Mitchell couldn't put it away. Remains four for one, 12. 13th over coming to an end. Hamilton breaking this run of scoring from Randwick Petersham, really putting the brakes on. Rails in, last ball of the over. Mitchell turns it off the hip. Summit comes around, as does Baker. 
Fires in the throw, but they can't prevent two. Four for 116 at the end of the over. Actually, I think it's four for 114. After 13 overs. Looks like we'll see Blake Smith back into the attack. For his final over. As the figures, one for 35. Six fours and a six off his bowling. Samet. One over for one run. Very economical. The Manhattan for, for Randwick Petersham. Well, it's certainly turning into a country town. A lot smaller buildings on the... Uh, on the, on the skyline, Smith around the wicket. Sanger got a, a full ball. Marked a, a dot. Smith around the wicket to Sanger. This time the court, you heard the call of one. Four for 115. Sanger 59, Mitchell 4. Struggling to get going here. Ben Mitchell just can't find any rhythm, the left hander. Jason Sanger, plenty of experience at shield level. Plenty of time in the Randwick Green as well. Mitchell waits for Smith, who's with him now. Just places it nicely down to Samet. They take the easy run. Four for 116. Sanger 59. Mitchell 5. Wickets to fall. Sam's 6. Wood 33. Ross 7. Air 2. Sanger on the reverse. An inquiry from Blair Smith uh, from Blake Smith there. An inquiry there for LBW, but the umpire not buy not buying. One lofted out wide for a single. They're going for a couple again this over. Sanger on 60. Mitchell 5. 4 for 117. One just pushed out to deepish point on the circle. No run. That's the end of the over. Good one there for Campbelltown. Smith bowls out. Four overs. No maidens. One for 38. Nine dots in that spell. Economy rate of 9.5 and over. So that'll see a change in bowling from Toby Flynn Duncan one way or the other at the next over. Big Chad Samet trundles down to the Raby end. Rails went for seven off his one over there. Six overs remaining. We've had an hour of play. Four for one one seven. Check around the grounds for Property Development Group as well. That's a wide down the leg side. Round two action underway. Summit in his final over, one for 19. Around the grounds at Raby number two oval, just over the fence, literally. East's batting first, two for 116 in the 14th. Two matches at Hawkesbury this afternoon. Sam it in, that's a full toss. They take the single. Score moves on to four for 119. So in the match at 
Benson's Lane. Well, the number one field at Hawkesbury. The Hawks taking on Sydney, and Sydney 5 for 52 in the 11th after 11 overs. On the number two oval at Benson's Lane, UTS Norths taking on Sydney Uni. UTS Norths 5 for 78 here. No one turned into the deep. They'll take an easy two. That's the Pool B matches at Hawkesbury at Bankstown. Bankstown taking on Northern Districts on Bankstown Oval. It's 5 for 93, Northern Districts after 16. And on Graham Thomas Oval, Manly taking on Mossman. Mossman 5 for 87 after 14. And at Sutherland, Sutherland taking on Fairfield Liverpool. The Lions 4 for 135. Sam it in. That one just tickled off the pad. Umpire will say leg by. To the total makes four for 122. That one driven hard. Doesn't beat mid off. Lynn Duncombe didn't get the user friendly bounce. I'll take a single. Senga. 61, is it? Mitchell, 8. So those final scores Fairfield, Liverpool, four for 135 after 14. Playing Sutherland at Glen McGrath Oval. No scores through St George and Blacktown. That was a slower full toss. They take a single. Four for one, two, four. No scores through St George and Blacktown at Sutherland Oval. The only match we don't have scores from this afternoon. <laughs> Sam it in. Full and wide. Nope, too wide. Umpire says we'll do it again. Four for one, two, four. I think it is after 15 overs. Samet. Samet in that one lofted straight down the ground. Save your legs. That's all the way for six. Lovely strike there from Jason Sanger going all the way for six. Into the over. Four for one. 30 it should be. After 15 overs. Chabot Samet bowled out. Four overs. One for 31. Nine dot balls. And an economy rate of 7.75. Now it'll be... At the end of the over, it'll be Luke Courtney. Back into the attack. Smith, one over for three. Samet, four overs. None for, uh, four overs, one for 31. He's... His spell. Through the field. Goes all the way for four. Four for 134 in the 16th over. 
As I said, that Manhattan looking more like a country town. Now it's starting to perk up a little bit, more like a, a small city. Courtney round the wicket. I want a full ball outside off. I'll take one and that's it. Mitchell to 13. Senga 68. Four for 135. Is it 136 now? I think it's 136. I've caught up. So four for 136. In the 16th over. You can add more to that. That one's over the top. Baker keeping it to two in the deep. Four for 138. Sanger to 70. Mitchell 13. Mike Sheen with you on MacArthur Sports Radio and also through the Cricket New South Wales live stream online. Great to have you along this afternoon. Don't forget the SMS line 0490 403 933. Put your name on it and where you're watching. Short ball there. Can't prevent the single. Put your name on it and where you're watching. We'll say hello to you from wherever you are. We've had Vietnam and Old Bar join us this afternoon. So let us know where you're tuning in on this Saturday. Well, it could be Saturday, Saturday afternoon here, wherever you are. It might be in the early hours Late Friday night. Hope you're enjoying the coverage wherever you are. Through MacArthur Sports Radio and Cricket New South Wales. Thank you to Cricket New South Wales for allowing us to broadcast the coverage. Once again in 2023-24. Mitchell doesn't get the boundary just inside the fence. So that should be two. Yes, two. Four for 141 in the 16th over. Certainly upping the tempo in these last couple of overs. Courtney, one to come. Bowls to Mitchell. Swing and a miss through to Patterson. No run. And dot to finish the over. And Luke Courtney, three overs, none for 28, his figures. So we'll have a change of bowler with uh, Chad Samet out of the attack. Looks like it'll be Henry Rails. Coming in, he's got two overs to spare. So Courtney's got one, Rails two and... Oh, sorry, Rails three. And let's try that again. Courtney's got one, Rails three and Freeman one. No, hang on, let's try that. Let's go again on that. Ra Courtney's got one, Rails has got two, and Freeman's got one. So four overs remaining, failing to do my primary school mathematics there. Rails in, start of a new over. That one's been lofted straight at the scoreboard. Did it carry all the way? I think it might have. It did. It did go all the way for six. Jason Sanger putting on a masterclass this afternoon. 77 off 43, that's his fourth six. Along with seven fours to his name. Absolutely putting on a class this afternoon for the Ghosts. Sanger waits for rails. We had a look at that one. He wanted to put that in the same area. Didn't get hold of it. Certainly up to the tempo in the last couple of overs. Putting on... Around 35. Run rate's 9 and over. So Campbelltown's going to be chasing somewhere in the order of 180. Rails from the Raby end. That one's higher. Has it got enough? Yes, it has. There was never any doubt it had enough. That's the 150 for Randwick Petersham. Four for 153. 150 off 105 balls in 71 minutes, 10 fours and 9 sixes. In that total, Jason Senga 83. 
Off only 45, seven fours, five sixes. Strike rate of 184. Certainly not to be sneezed at. Jack Wood, a quick fire, 33 off 15. And Ben Mitchell just ticking along nicely in even time 15. He's playing the supporting role very nicely. Rails into Sanger again. Who chases that one full and wide. Baker will not keep it in. That's four more. It takes Sanger to, 50, to 87 feet up and the 50 partnership. 50 off 32. Two boundaries and three sixes. Sanger 32 and Mitchell 15 in that 50 run stand. And they have gone very big in the last three overs in the order of 40-odd runs. And they'll add some more here. That's gone all the way for six. So another maximum. That's number 10 in the innings. Sanger to 93. Will he bring up a ton here this afternoon at Raby? He only needs another seven. Still 19 more balls to go. And he'd be short odds to finish that, that task off in good time. Rails. And over to go. One ball to come in this over. Sanger nearly dragged it on. Good comeback from Rails to finish the over. It was a big one. Went for 22. Looks like the biggest one in the innings. Could be Ryan Freeman to bowl his final over. Courtney going for 10 off that over. In fact, uh, that was off his last over. Rails went for 22 off his last. So the last three overs would be 46. I really need to bring it home here. Randwick, Petership and Campbelltown trying to pull it back. Freeman. Mitchell puts it high and deep. Smith comes under it and takes the catch. Well done. Nicely taken in the deep. Blair Smith had to... Uh, Blake Smith. I've done that twice today. Apologies, Blake. Blake Smith taking the catch. So that brings to the end a partnership that was very healthy for Randwick Petersham. Mitchell departs for 15. Five for 163. New man in is Angus McTaggart for Randwick Petersham. Freeman has three for 17. He's been the pick of the bowlers by a long way this afternoon. What can he do here? Bowling to McTaggart. Drive straight back down the pitch. Blake Smith, they'll take one. And Smith scurried in to prevent anything more than one. Five for one, six, four.
Freeman certainly having a good afternoon with the ball here at Raby. He's in now. Senga just punches down the pitch. They'll take one. Do they want a second? Yes, they do. And they'll get it nicely. Good running there. Senga to 95. Five for one, six, six. One just turned. They'll take two again, will they? They will, and they'll get it. Will they just? They got there in the end. They had to scurry. So it's five for one sixty nine. Sanga gets an outside edge. He'll take the single. It takes him to 98. 98 off 51. 5 for 170. In the 18th over, he's got one ball remaining, Ryan Freeman. It'll be Henry Rails to bowl the 20th, or the 19th over anyway. That's be his last. Freeman in. Laced by... McTaggart, it's a long off for one. And that's the end of the over. Ryan Freeman bowled out. Four overs, three for 25, 11 dot balls, an economy rate of six and a quarter. A very impressive set of numbers from young Ryan Freeman this afternoon. I know the family are watching up on the mid-north coast at Old Bar. I'm sure they'd be proud of Ryan's efforts this afternoon, as they should be. It'll be looks like Chad Samet to bowl hit the nineteenth over. So they're gonna save Courtney for the final over. No, that can't be right. That one driven into the offside, beats the diving fielder and that will Reach the fence for four runs. The players appreciating the effort from Nathan Baker. A dive in the deep. In vain as it was. That's Courtney to the... Deep, batted up and over. No, it stayed in. Asaka did well. Kept it to one. Great work there to keep it to one run. McTaggart to seven. Sanger 98. Five for 176. Ten balls remaining. Now Courtney from the Raby end to Sanga. Oh, it just beats a diving Patterson. It'll go for four. Is that going to be runs? It will be runs. And there's 100 to Jason Sanga. A brilliant knock. 102 off 52 balls. Nine fours and six sixes in that knock. In an hour and a quarter, 74 minutes. The strike rate at 196. Now, Courtney into him again. That one given a better chance. Baker takes it one hand, one bounce. That won't count in backyard rules. I'll keep it to one. Sanger 103, five for 181.
Courtney from the Raby end to McTaggart. Cry was catch. Smith keeps it to one. Good fielding there from Blake Smith in the deep. Keeping it to a single. Five for 182. Seven balls remaining in the innings. Luke Courtney about to bowl his last ball. He's gone for 39 off his five. Economy rate of better than 10. Courtney in for the last time. Sanger swats that one down the ground. They'll get one only. Sanger to 104. That's the end of the over. And it'll be Henry Rails to bowl the 20th over. Randwick Petersham, 5 for 183. Luke Courtney, 4 overs, none for 40. And neat, 10 and over. The run rate, or the economy rate for him. The run rate for Randwick Petersham, 9.63. So a very tidy clip from them this afternoon. Certainly been plenty of action. Headlined by Jason Sanger, 104. Not out. Henry rails for the final over of the 20. Let's see what he can produce. First ball turned around the corner. It'll beat the man at short fine leg. And he won't be able to reel it in. That's another boundary. Sanger to 108. Five for 187. Five balls to go in the innings. Certainly has been impressive bowling or impressive batting by Jason Sanger. The bowling hasn't been outstanding from Campbelltown. Two, two bowlers going under eight and over. Rails gets deposited back down the ground for another four. Five for one nine one with four balls remaining. Rails round the wicket. One turned very fine by Sanger. They'll take one. That's all they get. Only the one. Five for one. One. Ninety-two. Five for one. Nine-two with three balls to go. Scoreboard a little bit behind. Rails in. McTaggart drives straight. Along the ground, all the way down to Samet. Fires in a throw. Keeps it to one. Five for one, nine, three. Two balls to go in the innings. A lovely throw from the deep from Chad Samet. Didn't have the best afternoon with the ball. Actually, one of the better bowlers. One for 31 off his four overs. Rails in. That's been lofted. Baker doesn't get there on the full. Taken on the bounce. Keeps it to one, though. Great work there in the outfield to keep it to a single. Five for 194. This will be the last ball of the innings. I'll give you a full call of the card after the innings. Five for 194 it is. Campbelltown will need their best. Rails in. Slow ball, McTaggart pulls it through Cow Corner. That'll be four. Lovely way to finish, McTaggart. McTaggart goes. Along to, so I bring up the card. He goes to 13 with that boundary. So, 5 for 198 at the end of 20 overs. Card reads this way. Anthony Stams stumped Patterson. Bold Smith for 6. 1 for 14 in the second over. And it was Jack Wood with a quick fire. 33 
He was out, caught Flynn Duncan, bold Freeman, two for 81 in the seventh over. Alex Ross in and out for seven, caught Osaka, bold Freeman, seven off 14, three for 104. Riley Eyre only made two, caught behind, caught Patterson, bold Samet, two from five, four for 107 in the 12th over. Then Ben Mitchell, the last man to fall, caught Smith, bold Freeman for 15 off 16. Five for 163 in the 18th over. Angus McTaggart not out 13 off seven. But the star of the innings, Jason Sanger, the captain, 114 not out off 58 balls, 11 fours and six sixes, and a strike rate of 196. Certainly the star of the innings. The bowling figures for Campbelltown. Not the best set of numbers for the majority of them. Luke Courtney, four overs, no maidens, none for 40. Blake Smith, four overs, no maidens, one for 38. Henry Rails, four overs, no maidens, none for 63. Ryan Freeman, the pick of the bowlers, four overs, no maidens, three for 25. Chad Samet, four overs, no maidens, one for 31. Campbelltown requires 199 to win this match at a rate of around 9.9 and over. We'll bring you that very shortly here on MacArthur Sports Radio. We'll take a short break in the meantime. And we'll have the run, rate, run chase very shortly. The Ghosts need 199 against Randwick Petersham. Training and feel something pinch? That morning run didn't feel right with some tightness? Then you need Physio Inc. With offices in Camden and Harrington Park, they can get you back on the park in no time with sports physiotherapy, a specialty for local athletes. Speak to their team today to make an appointment or get more information on what they can do to help you return to full fitness sooner. Feel stronger, move better, think clearer. Live a life with less limits. Physio Inc. Camden and Harrington Park. For all of the best sport from the MacArthur, MacArthur Sports Radio is the place to be for MacArthur Rugby League. I think they're going to say another try to Tui Lapa. Yes, he did get it down. The MFA. Can she make it two in two? Yes, she can. AFL Sydney. Handball over the top to Coles, who will poke it through from three metres for another. And the Illawarra District Rugby Union. The footwork from Grand Isles blew them away. Live and on demand on MacArthurSportsRadio.com. Miracle Babies Foundation is Australia's leading organisation supporting premature and sick newborns, their families and the hospitals that care for them. They are passionate in developing and providing vital programs and resources to support and enhance a family's experience from a threatened pregnancy, hospital journey with a premature or sick newborn, the transition to home and beyond. To donate and learn more, visit miraclebabies.org.au. A community service announcement. K-Statewide Solar have been providing solar and battery solutions for local businesses and homes since 2008. They can install solar panels to maximise your output from home or work and have managed installations up to 420 kilowatts. See the team at K-Statewide Solar in their new shop number 216 Argyle Street, Camden. Give them a call today on 1300 551 K-Statewide Solar are a proud sponsor of MacArthur Sports Radio. Property and Development Group is your home when it comes to finding your next property in the Dilly. Whether it's a first home, dream home, investment property or a tree change, they can help find what you're after. Speak to the team at Property Development Group about your next property, whether you're buying, selling or renting. Call Property Development Group on 0458 000 618. That's 0458 000 618. Are you looking for an SMSF property loan? Call our local lending expert Chris Abrahams from Liberty who may be able to help with your next SMSF property purchase. Give Chris a call today on 0431 163 421. That's 0431 163 421. Approved applicants only. Lending criteria applies. 
Are you looking to set up a new website and don't know where to start? Simply WordPress Sydney owner Matthew can help you achieve your goal. With over 20 years experience, he knows what's needed for your website. He supports dozens of small businesses with their websites including Right Price Flooring, Campbelltown Computer Repairs and MacArthur Sports Radio. Call Matthew today on 02801137 or head online to simplywordpress.sydney for your free consultation. If you're a small to medium business looking to realise your full potential, then you need to speak to the team of Forte Financial Services. The team of Forte Financial Services can come to your home or workplace to speak to you about tailoring your motor vehicle and equipment finance needs. Forte Financial Services can also tailor a home loan through the many lenders in the market as they look for the best deals for you. Head to fortefinancial.com.au or call them today to organise an appointment with the team and discuss your situation. Forte Financial Services are proud to Sponsors of MacArthur Sports Radio. Want home loan help? Give our local lending expert Chris Abrahams a call on 0431 163 421. Chris can access a range of lenders to get you a great home loan. Call Chris on 0431 163 421. Approved applicants only, lending criteria applies. Physio Inc. has taken over Argyle Physiotherapy in Camden. The same friendly faces are still there to help you get back on track with your health and fitness. Whether it's remedial massage, workers' compensation claims or exercise physiology, Physio Inc. has you covered. Speak to their friendly team today to make an appointment or get more information on what they can do to help you return to full fitness. Feel stronger, move better, think clearer. Live a life with less limits. Physio Inc. Camden and Harrington Park. Are you looking for your first home, dream home, investment property or a tree change in the Woolloondilly? Then speak to the team at Property Development Group about your next property. With a range of homes and the option of home and land packages available, they can set you on the path to your next home. Mitchell and Kate have years of experience in real estate and will be able to help you find what you're looking for. Call Property Development Group on 0458 000 618. For all of the best sport from the MacArthur, MacArthur Sports Radio is the place to be for MacArthur Rugby League. I think they're going to say another try to Tui Labor. Yes, he did get it down. The MFA. Can she make it two in two? Yes, she can. AFL Sydney. Handball over the top to Coles, who will poke it through from three metres for another. And the Illawarra District Rugby Union. The footwork from Grand Isles blew them away. Live and on demand on MacArthurSportsRadio.com. K-Statewide Solar have been providing solar and battery solutions for local homes and businesses since 2008. They have been the forefront of solar panel installations and specialise in on-grid and off-grid power systems with a range of power-saving products available. See the team at K-Statewide Solar in their new shop at number 216 Argyle Street, Camden. Or give them a call today on 1300 551 239. K-Statewide Solar are a proud sponsor of MacArthur. The sports radio. Are you looking to set up a new website and don't know where to start? Simply WordPress Sydney owner Matthew can help you achieve your goal. With over 20 years experience, he knows what's needed for your website. He supports dozens of small businesses with their websites including Right Price Flooring, Campbelltown Computer Repairs and MacArthur Sports Radio. Call Matthew today on 0280113737 or head online to simplywordpress.sydney for your free consultation. If you're a small to medium business looking to realise your full potential, then you need to speak to the team of Forte Financial Services. The team of Forte Financial Services can come to your home or workplace to speak to you about tailoring motor vehicle and equipment finance needs. Forte Financial Services can also tailor a home loan through the many lenders in the market as they look for the best deals for you. Head to fortefinancial.com.au or call them today to organise an appointment with the team and discuss your situation. Forte Financial Services are proud sponsors of MacArthur Sports Radio. And welcome back here to Raby Sports Complex, the inning br innings break. Randwick-Petersham posting a mighty total in the one-day T20 competition. Final score, 5 for 198 after 20 overs. Jason Sanger, 114 not out of 58, 58 balls. 
11 fours and six sixes, the star of the innings. And that was an, an impressive knock from the New South Wales cricketer. Did an excellent job. Angus McTaggart provided some nice assistance at the end. 13 off seven. Ben Mitchell also chimed in with a handy 15 to keep it ticking over. Bowling figures for Campbelltown, not too wonderful. Uh, Ryan Freeman, the pick of the bowlers. Three for 25 off four overs. But didn't make for pretty reading for the majority. Now Campbelltown, the mighty task of chasing down 199. Just under 10 and over. Can they reel it in? They comfortably got to 126 in the morning match. Can they do it with a much bigger total? In the afternoon session. The key batsman or one of the key batsmen from this morning, AJ Mosca, not playing this afternoon. Batted very nicely in the morning match. Tidying up the uh, paperwork here. Keeping track of all the... Keeping on top of all the... Uh, vital figures. So... Hamilton needing 199 to win. That'll be a massive effort if they can reel it in this afternoon. Five for 198. Looks like we're just about ready for the run chase. So what will we see here? It'll be Justin Mosca and looks like Jackson Osaka. A little surprise there to see the uh, to see the pinch hitter Jackson Osaka at the top of the order and the bowler. Let's find out who he's opening the bowling for. Randwick Petersham from this Emerald Hills end, the northern end. It'll be Riley Air to open the attack. So it'll be Justin Mosker to face up. Like Riley era. A left arm spinner by the looks of it. Can't say I know a lot about. About Riley Air. Ready for the run chase, Riley Air. Maybe Justin Mosca to face the first ball. Air in. And that one's been lofted high and wide and all the way, I think. I think it went all the way. 
Waiting for confirmation from the umpire. They're just checking. Yes, there's the signal six from Justin Mosca. He's got his eye in first ball this afternoon. 199 the target. And they're off and running with a six. Air. Oh, slower ball through to Anthony Sams, the keeper. Tried to put that one in the same area. Looking for the signal from Alex Ross. I think he knew it had carried all the way. He's had another go, Justin Mosker. Has he got enough of that? Ross comes in and takes the easy catch. So the wicket falls. So Campbelltown lose an early one. Justin Mosker had to go for it. Third ball of the innings. He's out for six, and it's one for six. So it's one for six. Campbelltown taking on Randwick Petersham. Campbelltown needing 100 and. Oh, it's been revised. The target showing on the screen 194. Target is 194. Here's the target. Nick Appleton, the new man, to the middle with Jackson Osaka. Only faced three balls. This afternoon, Justin Mosca made a, a handy contribution in the morning match. Unbeaten 41 off 44. Riley Air to continue from the Emerald Hills end. Holding to the left-hander Nick Appleton. Who sweeps and sweeps fine. Does well. Has he got enough on it? It'll race away towards the boundary. I'll get two. In fact, it's been signalled a boundary. It's been signalled a boundary for four. So one for ten. Campbelltown. Run rate up at 12 and over. That one swept very fine. Next one just pushed to mid on, fielded by Wood. No run. Now I've got it, that's the end of the over, so we might have an extra delivery here. That one's been lofted for four, one bounce. One for 14. After the opening over. The wicket to fall was Mosca caught air, bold. A uh, caught Ross, bold air for six. Saka yet to face a ball. Appleton eight from four. So it'll be. Looks like it'll be Angus McTaggart to open the bowling from the Raby end. One for 14 the score, chasing 194. They need another 180. The score's been revised down. Hamilton off to a flying start though. 14 off the first. McTaggart in. That one steered fine. Asaka will get four. Just steered it through what would have been about second slip. And it raced away to the boundary for four. No chance of reeling that in. Shivanash Patak fielding in the deep had no hope. He's a deep third, almost on the fence. He had no hope of pulling that in. McTaggart on his way again to Osaka. Playing a miss outside off through to Anthony Sams. 
One for 18 in the second over, needing 194. showing one for 14. That one wide outside off through to, Sta to Sam's, no run. updating the uh, scoreboard here at Raby showing one for 18 and the second over only going a dot Saka comes back for two he goes to six one for 20 I've got it at we'll just confirm that in a moment Sarker puts that one into the deep. They'll turn two. Do they want a third on the arm? They will, and they'll do it nicely. here so they've got a one for 19 which I'm running with at the moment one for 19 is the score we've had 11 balls in in the, in the innings that makes it number 12 and no run there so one for 19 after two No, that'll be the third over. So this is Jackson Gwynn bowling. And that one's been punished by Jackson Osaka all the way for six. Certainly punished by Jackson Osaka. Looks like we might have some uh, issues with the live scoring once again. Osaka gets a, an edge there. He'll take a single. He'll go to eight. One for 27 on the scoreboard. We'll go with that. Go 
probable chose one for 27. We'll run with that for the moment. No one punched into the covers, but no run. Side off through to Sam's, no run. Appleton watching that one. We'll certainly need to go at a good rate here. Campbelltown chasing 194 on this Saturday afternoon. Turned into a lovely afternoon here at Raby. Let's see if I can bring you any scores from the other matches. The other match right next door. That one over the top from Appleton. They'll get one. They'll come for the second to the keeper's end. The throw was wide. And they turn two. Nicely done by the Ghosts. One for 35. Appleton 13. Osaka 16. I can tell you on the number two oval... Easts made 7 for 161 in there. 20 overs. Penrith, none for 17 in the second over there. So that's a score on the number two oval. We're having a few issues with our scoring here, but I can tell you it's one, according to the scoreboard, 1 for 35 after four overs. And we'll have a bowling change with, it looks like, Riley Air coming in from the Raby end. Play and a miss outside off through to Sams. Osaka wanted to give that one the full, full treatment but couldn't quite middle it. That one lofted into the offside, they'll take a single, Osaka to 17, 1 for 36. <coughs> if you're watching the live stream, the scoreboard and the scoring not up to date. We do apologise, having a few technical issues this afternoon with our scoring. Appleton, play and miss outside off, through to Sam's, no run. few gremlins in the early season it has to be said a couple of gremlins in the, the works Appleton didn't find the gremlins there he's found the middle and he's picked out the fielder in the deep so he's on his way for a well made 13 that makes it 2 for 36 chasing 194 steady stream of wickets going to make life difficult for the ghosts this afternoon Man, he's the captain, Toby Flynn Duncombe, batting at number four. issues with the uh, live scoring. You can watch it through play cricket. But there is a couple of gremlins with the live scoring at present. I was hoping to get an updated scoreboard but unfortunately not the case. 
air in. Flynn Duncombe just turns that one to the leg side for a single. He's off the mark with one. Osaka. That's 17, I think it is. One for 37. Punched into the offside by Osaka. They'll take the quick single. Do they want an overthrow? No. One for 38. Yeah, that's one for 38. Osaka to 18. Flynn Duncombe, one. And we'll have the end of the over. So a bowling change from this Emerald Hills end. It's the end of the power play. Signal given by the umpire. Looks like it'll be Jack Wood coming into the attack. Unfortunately, the uh, live scoring has picked up a major problem, so I can't give you the... Uh, Accurate scoring, but until you Flynn Duncombe is one, Osaka 18. Mosca was out. That's the one I can confirm. He was out for six. As they take another single here, Campbelltown. One for 39, Osaka to 19. That'll be Jack Wood bowling left arm left arm spin from the Emerald Hills end. Osaka 19. Flynn Duncombe, the captain. First bat for the afternoon. He, that's a wide. Down the leg side. One for 40 the score. Keep the scoreboard literally ticking over here at Raby. Wood, that one lofted to Whitish. Extra cover, no run. One for 40, it remains. Wood in. That one just dropped at the feet by Flynn Duncombe. It's rolled into the offside, no run. in. That one over the head of the man in the deep. That was Patak. He chases after it. I think he I don't think he, did he reel it in in time? He might have. Signal comes as four. There it is. Now it's four, so one for 44. Flynn Duncombe to five. It's his first boundary for the afternoon. Osaka 19. Unfortunately, I can't bring you any further information than that. Flynn Duncombe takes a single. One for 45. He goes to six. Osaka 19. in. Flynn Duncombe. In fact, that was Osaka. Getting away with one that just pitched in front of the man at short 45 on the legs on the offside. End of the over. It's one for 45. Here at Raby. That should make it five overs down. In fact, sorry, it should be two for 45. Two for 45 with uh, Osaka not out. Mosca and Appleton, the men dismissed earlier today. Mosca was caught, Ross, bold air. New 
Driver coming in from and he's Jason Rolston coming in from the Raby end. Don't forget the SMS line 0490 403 If you want to reach us this afternoon, we'd love to hear from you. Duncan just drops it at his feet. No chance for a run there. Remains 1-4-45. Scoring has certainly dried up in the last couple of overs. Flynn Duncan batting at four this afternoon. Rolston, Flynn Duncombe swinging a miss through to Sams. Nice lit up there outside off. No run. Remains one for 45. They need to keep the scoring moving, Campbelltown, if they're to have any chance. In fact, two for 45, sorry. Two for 45 in the sixth over. Been lofted all the way for six into the fence. Great shot there. Toby Flynn Duncan getting hold of that one in the slot. It's been punished for a full count. Flynn Duncan got a full piece of that, and that went all the way for six. One for 51, Flynn Duncombe to 12. That one beats the outside edge of the captain's bat through to Anthony Sams. One for 51. Only the one extra so far this afternoon for Randwick Petersham. Campbelltown conceded a few, but not too many. Comes Rolston, Flynn Duncan drives back down or pushes back down the pitch. No run. One for 51 at the end of six overs. Here at Raby this afternoon, the target 194. Mosca and Appleton, the men to fall this afternoon. Unfortunately, I can't bring you a lot more information than that. I think some. Issues with the live scoring is for those watching on the live stream. You'll see that uh, on screen. Scoreboard certainly, the score certainly not accurate compared to the, uh, the one on display. Now yeah, having some apo uh, issues. We apologise. It's one for forty nine after six. And that is Jason Sanger, the captain, getting punished for four. Brings up the 50 for Campbelltown. One for 53. Jackson Osaka going to 23. Sanger bowling. From the Emerald Hills end. That one driven down the ground. They'll take one. Do they want a second? They thought about it. Good fielding from Gwyn prevented. A second. One for 54. Osaka to 24. Flynn Duncombe on 12. Tried to just get a feather on that one. Just didn't read the flight of that one. Toby Flynn Duncombe. Through to Sams. Sanger, a handy part-time bowler. Bowling from the Emerald Hills end. One off the back foot from Flynn Duncombe. No run. Two for 54. Yeah. 
Senger off a handful of paces. Flynn Duncombe gets it high. Has he put enough on it? I don't think so. And the catch is taken in the deep. Captain has to depart for a well-made 12. Didn't quite get enough of that one. And he's on his way for 12. And that makes it 3 for 54. Captain on his way for a 12. The new man in his Henry Rails. Batting at five. The third of the new recruits with the Mosca brothers. Rails batting at five, coming from Penrith, across to Campbelltown this season. First time he's made his way to the middle in Ghost's colours. Three for 54 is correct on the scoreboard. So the technology has, has had a massive... Meltdown this afternoon here at Raby. Apologies for that. So, not much more we can tell you beyond what's on the scoreboard. 3 for 54. Sangarin rails the left hander. Beats the fielder, takes a single. off the mark with one. Osaka 24. 3 for 55 after six overs. Another successful one for Randwick Petersham. Three for 55 after six. Mike Sheen with you on MacArthur Sports Radio and through the Cricket New South Wales social media live stream. Great to have you along this afternoon from Raby. A beautiful Saturday afternoon. Clouds were a little bit threatening early on this morning, but tuned into a picture postcard Saturday afternoon. Just sitting at 20 degrees, a beautiful Saturday afternoon for cricket. Do need the long sleeves though, just looking around the spectators that are here, quite a few in in the long sleeves, certainly not uh, anything heavy, but uh, sleeves are certainly the order of the day. Ryan Ninian coming into the attack from the Raby end of the ground, spin certainly the option for Randwick Petersham this afternoon, Ninian in and Rails just pushes that one to point. No run. Rails one from two. Makes it two from three with a single. Just hacked it through mid wicket for a single. Rails to two. Three for 57. Saka waiting for Ninian. And that one is lofted. Has it got enough? No. The catch is taken by Jackson Asa in the deep. Jackson Osaka has to depart for 25. Randwick Petersham, the steady fall of wickets. Helping their cause. It's 4 for 57. In the seventh over. Saka makes way for 25. Tom 
Patterson, the keeper, just getting himself loose. The new man to the crease is Blake Smith. He batted very well this morning for Campbelltown. Made a quick fire 33 off 40. Uh, sorry, quick fire 40 off 19. It was a real uh, rocket for Campbelltown to get them to their win this, uh, this morning in the early match. Looks like they'll finish with a, a one and one record. After Saturday, Randwick Petersham will take two from two. Posting a couple of big totals in the pro process. 181, 188 and 193 rather. 188 and 193. Their totals today. It looks like they'll both be winning ones. Campbelltown 4 for 57. And then all sorts of issues this afternoon. Ninny and in. Big appeal. Not out. Ninny was very keen. Blake Smith. Not interested. This time he gets a bat on it. He's at the full face and just pushes it into the covers. Fielded by Wood. No run. Ninian in again. This time they just punch it down the ground. It beats Ninian. They'll take a single and that's all they want. Rails 2, Smith 1, and it should be 4 for 58 after 8 overs. So it'll be Jason Sanger, I believe, to continue from the Emerald Hills end. Took a wicket in his first over, his only over of the day so far. been pulled through square leg for a single. It's 4 for 58, 4 for 59 I think it is now. Just trying to confirm the, uh, yep there we go. Scoreboard catching up. Rails 2. I don't know if that's right, it's got rails on 2. There's a chance for stumping there. Come back for another two. Umpire will say leg buys. Four for sixty one the score. That one just lifted round the corner nicely. They'll take a single. Rails to three. Four for 62 it should be. Not quite pad and pen method, but not too far away from that. Into the eighth over. Sanger in. Did that bowl him or did that... Oh, a little confused there. The umpire's going to say buys. So one buy to the total. Thought that took the top of the stumps and then took a deflection. I'm not quite sure what that came off, but given as one by. Sangarine again, that one driven down the ground so through Cow Corner. I'll take another single. Rails to four. Score should be around 4 for 63. Sanger in. Smith chops down. They'll take another single. Good, smart, good boy. Keep running. We'll go to two. It should be 4 for 64. We'll have to wait for the scoreboard to update. Another 
over from Ninian from the Raby end. Be over number nine on my count. Well, that took an inside edge, did it? I think it did, and looks like Blake Smith's picked up a a knock as well. Top a hobble there as he made his way down the down the pitch. He's on three. I've got him on three. Rails on four. It should be around four for sixty-five, as I said. I keep saying we are having issues with the scoring this afternoon, so I do apologise. We don't have any live scoring and relying on the scoreboard, which is not entirely up to date, I don't think. Ninian into Rails, who finds a gap at long on. They'll come back for a second, and they'll do it nicely. Much better from the Ghosts. Need to get the run rate going here. And that'll take Rails to six. Ninian round the wicket. That one just chipped over the top into the gap. They'll turn one and only one. First multiple that we've had in some time without, uh, without having the facts in front of me. First multiple we've had in a while. Ninian over the wicket. Was there in a catch? Yes! Caught behind. The wicket falls. Now I think that's Blake Smith that's gone. So that should make it five for about 67. If my maths is about right. In the tenth over I think it is. New man in is Tom Patterson, the keeper batting at seven. Should be five for about 67 on my count. Campbelltown. Do apologise. We are hamstrung here with uh, technology not cooperating. I'm sure the score is working feverishly. Not near me, unfortunately, so I can't give you anything further. What? It's Patterson... First ball's a dot. One down the leg side, no run. Umpire says another dot. That's the end of the over. Around 5 for 67 or thereabouts. The scoreboard, the digital one anyway, the electronic one showing 5 for 59 at about halfway. Henry Rail's not out, it says 2. I've got him on. Actually, I think I've got that back to front in my notes. So I think it was Smith who went for 3. Driven into the offside. I'll take a single. Caneltown certainly not scoring at the rate Randwick Petersham were this morning. Earlier this afternoon at least. Yeah, the 
scoreboard slowly catching up. And showing five to five for sixty-four. It'll be five for sixty-five with another single there to Rails. He should go to eight. Patterson one. So it's five for sixty-five according to the scoreboard. Jack Wood back into the attack. Another dot there for the left hander Tom Patterson. He's one from four on my count. Yeah! Half an appeal. Sams was very confident. Wood belatedly. Umpire didn't want to know about it. So the scoreboard showing five for 65. The target 194. One driven down the ground. I'll take a single. Rails to eight. Five for 66. So it's Rails, eight, Patterson, one. That should be halfway. Five for 66. They need 128. Need 12 point after 11 overs, in fact. Or is this the 11th over? And it's 5 for 66. Rails 8. Patterson 1. The wickets to fall were Mosca caught Ross Bold Air for 6. Jackson caught in the deep off Ninian for 25. Uh, Appleton was out early. Flynn Duncombe caught, in, caught off the bowling of Jason Sanger. And Blake Smith caught Sam's bold minion. That was for three. That one almost pushed back down the pitch into the hands of Ninian. I'll take one. Should make it 5 for 67. So that's Big Henry Rails on a strike. Patterson goes to 2 then. That one's been lofted high. Has it got enough? Yes, it has. Goes all the way for 6. Is this the start of a mini comeback from Campbelltown? Five for 73, I think it is now. That one did go all the way. Five for 74, it says, and he stumped. Henry Rails on his way for 15. Ninian takes a second wicket. So it should be six for 74. The new man in is Nathan Baker. Batting at eight. I'm sure his parents are, are watching. Peter, a long-time supporter of the Ghosts cricket. Mike Sheen with you on MacArthur Sports Radio and through the Cricket New South Wales live stream. Randwick Petersham, 5 for 190. Well, the target's 193, so I think they've revised that total. Yeah, 5 for 193 off 20 overs. 5 for 193, Randwick Petersham. Off 20 overs. 
Campbelltown in reply are currently 6 for 74. Ninian, right arm over the wicket to Nathan Baker. He just chips it to long on around along the ground for one. And he's off the mark with a single. So Patterson 2, Baker 1, 6 for 75. In the 12th over, Ninian in quickly to Patterson, the keeper. Just forces it out for no run. That'll be the end of the over. 12 overs down, I believe. 6 for 75. Certainly doing our best here to keep you up to date with the scoring and the, the play on field. Until you're out on the number two field, it's Easts, seven for 161. Randwick, uh, sorry, Penrith, three for 69 in the 10th over. Ryan Gibson, an unbeaten 39, the, the scorer of note. Brent Williams made 15. Liam Dodrell, the Irishman, playing for the Panthers this afternoon. First ball of a new over from Wood. Saw a dot. That one just turned into the onside. They took a single. So Baker to two, six for 76. Baker and Patterson both on two. Been a steady fall of wickets this afternoon for Campbelltown. Wood, the left armour, over the wicket. Callies two. Can they get two? They will, and they'll do it easily. Good running there from Campbelltown. Patterson to four. Six for 78. No, a yelp of anguish. A play and a miss there from Patterson. Patterson four from nine. Make that four from ten as he doesn't quite get to the pitch of that one. Just pushes it back down the pitch. No run. Six for 78. They've updated the scoreboard. Patterson four. Baker two. Wood in. Just pushed off the back foot, trying to turn it around the corner there, Patterson. No run. Into the over. Six for 78 after 12. Target 194 seems a long way off. Still 116 required. So it looks like Campbelltown will share the spoils at home to kick off their T20 season. It was a good crowd here for the morning match. Ninian. Baker tries to advance down the pitch to him, but just couldn't quite get it past the bowler. No run. Ninian in. Baker tries to sweep. They'll take a single. The signal from the umpire. I think it'll be a leg by. And it is. So Baker remains on two. Patterson four. Six for 80. That one lofted down the ground. All the way. Much more like it from the Campbelltown point of view. Patterson goes all the way for six. He goes to ten. Six for 86. Six for 85, in fact. I think they might have missed the leg by, but six for 85, the scoreboard showing. Ninny and in. Wrapped on the pad. Not out. Big appeal there from Ninny and Sam's. Umpire not buying. The trigger stayed in the in the holster. The 
Trigger finger stayed down. Ninny and in. This time off the middle of the bat. Patterson punches to long on. They'll take one. They'll come for a second on the throw to the bowler's end. It had to hit. It was wide. They get two more. Baker to 10. Six, uh, actually, I think they're correcting themselves here. That one's driven back down the ground. No run. So that's the end of the over. Now I think it should be around 6 for 92 or thereabouts. We'll wait for the scoreboard to catch up and update. Mike Sheen with you from Raby this afternoon on MacArthur Sports Radio and the Cricket New South Wales live stream. They'll take a leg by here and that's out. Baker run out at the non-striker's end. So he's on his way. Now he should be out for four. Seven for 87. I can tell you that much. So a little partnership of 13 there between those two. Baker's on his way. Run out at the non-striker's end. Now we see Ryan Freeman batting at nine. Only leaves Luke Courtney and Chad Samet to come. The 10 and 11 for Campbelltown. Task seems nearly academic for the Ghosts. I think the next match is here on uh, October 14, I think it is. As we see another one. I'll take one and one only there. Campbelltown. Yeah, Campbelltown back here on October 14 for a one day against North C UTS Norths here at Raby. Round three of the one day competition. I'll have two T20s, or one T20 next Saturday against Penrith, Saturday afternoon at Waverley. And then one on Sunday against Easts at Waverley. Both those games at Waverley on next weekend. Stay tuned to MacArthur Sports Radio. We'll let you know if we're broadcasting those <laughs> games or not. But we will be here on October 14 on Referendum Day. For Campbelltown and UTS Norths in a one day or a full 50 over match. Kick off from 10 a.m. An appeal for a stumping there, not out. So Patterson, they've got him on four. Freeman, two. That one driven. By Freeman, they'll only take the single. He goes to three. Seven for 91, I've got it at. Now doing our best here this afternoon, we do apologise. If you've been watching the live stream through Cricket New South Wales, the uh, scoring is well out of... There we go, 7 for 91 is the score after 15. The live scoring, we've got some major issues there this afternoon, so we do apologise. 
Beyond our control here in broadcast. Seven for 91 is the score line. Over and he's bowled him. So the eighth wicket goes down for Campbelltown. I think it might be Freeman who's on his way for three. So it's eight for 91. Luke Courtney batting at 10. Which leaves Chad Samet, the man to come in. Eight for 91, Campbelltown chasing 194. It was always a tough task on the back of Jason Senger's massive 114. Freeman bowled for three. Huh? And a steady stream of wickets for the Ghosts. That's been their problem this afternoon. Luke Courtney coming in at number 10. <laughs> that one driven wide of the Diving bowler, which is Riley Air. So Riley Air's picked up another wicket. That's his second for the afternoon on my at, lo, at least his second on my count. I don't have a full score sheet in front of me. Inside edge there from Patterson. They'll take one, and that's all. So Courtney, uh, Courtney's one, Patterson five, eight for 93. Courtney just turns that one through square leg for a single. And that's all it'll be. So eight for 94. Eight for 94 in the 16th over. Outside off through to Anthony Sams, the keeper. No run. And a tough afternoon at the office for all concerned. Players not having the best of luck on the pitch. No one driven down the ground by Patterson. He'll turn one. Does he want seconds? No, he thought about it. So he gets another one. He goes to six, eight for 95. No, it'll be eight for 96. My apologies. I'm working off the uh, big screen here, the digital scoreboard, which is behind somewhat. So it's eight for 96. Now it's Patak coming into the attack. Can't give you any bowling figures or any sort of accurate information this afternoon. The uh, live scoring has had a, a meltdown. So absolutely nothing I can give you. comes Patak. Half volley put high and deep. Has it got enough? No. Or is it a, a, a double catch? I think it might be. That might be a double catch there or the double effort. McTaggart will go into the book as the catcher. It was flicked up. 
I thought he'd taken it over the line there, but it was flicked up. McTaggart took the catch. And very unlucky there. The wicket falls for Campbelltown. So that's nine for 96. Chad Summit, the number 11. Patterson goes. So Patak uh, takes a wicket. Patterson goes for six. Nine for 96. Here's the score. Campbelltown would like to get to 100. Chad Summit, the number 11. The big left-hander walks out to the middle. So Patak takes a wicket for Randwick Petersham. Chad Sammet's the number 11. I'll be looking to at least get to 100 here, Campbelltown. Field looks like it's coming up. McTaggart, the lone sweeper in the deep on the offside. Samet punches out to McTaggart. Takes a single. Courtney's three. Samet one. Nine for 97. Now Patak in. One inside edge onto the pad there from Courtney. Might have stung the big quick. But no damage done. Nine for 97. <laughs> Patak in, bowls. This time Courtney gets a, an inside edge on it. It runs away. They'll get a single. They all count. Courtney to four. Nine for 98. Hamilton limping to that three-figure total. They won't get the win this afternoon by any means. Barring a miracle in the last handful of overs. There's the hundred. With a big six from Chad Samet. He goes to seven. That brings up the ton. Nine for 104. Samet to seven. And that spares their blushes at least of not going down by over 100 runs. Down to 90 the target. They're unlikely to chase it down, you would think. Down to the last pair. Just bunts that one into the offside. They'll take a single. Samet to eight. They're all counting. Nine for 105. After 16 overs. Mike Sheen with you this afternoon. The closing stages of this one. Randwick Petersham should record a comfortable victory over Campbelltown. Over the Ghosts. Randwick Petersham will go two for two on the day. The Ghosts will share the honours with one win and one loss. Not a 
Not a bad result. They were happy. To, they'd have been happy with the performance, especially from AJ Mosca this morning. And Blake Smith chimed in with a, a rapid fire. Uh, 30, uh, 40 off 19. Justin Mosca was uh, 41 off 44, and AJ Mosca 30 off uh, about 16 or 17 balls. New over that one worked into the offside off Riley Air. That'll make it 9 for 107. Samet goes to 9. Courtney on four. Air around the wicket, the left armour. Thought that took an edge there. I thought I heard a noise, but only Anthony Sams got excited. No one else was interested, least of all the umpire. That one's gone up. There's a man backing back, but he's going to turn and watch that one get deposited over the fence for six. Nice striking late. Luke Courtney joins the big hitters club. He goes to 10, 9 for 112. I guess where there's life, there's hope for the ghosts. A few more of those will make it interesting. Air around the wicket. One driven down the ground. I'll take the easy single. These two have put on a nice little partnership here. It's at 17 for the last wicket. Samet 9, Courtney 11. Samet waits. Yeah, just backs up, just on the runway, but wheels around, he'll go again. That one's been clubbed down to long on, towards cow corner, they'll come back for two. Throw to the keeper's end, didn't make it. So Samet to 11, 9 for 115. Chad Samet might need a visit to Physio Inc. Camden and Harrington Park on Monday for a bit of treatment. He don't, won't need any for that. He's given that all the treatment. It's been deposited for another six. Samet to 17. Just quickly, Campbelltown mounting a, a mini comeback. Nine for 121. A little bit of a flicker of hope for the ghosts. They need 73. It looked like a forlorn task at 9 for 96 when these two came together. But they've put on a quick fire 25. And Randwick taking the power play. Or in fact, Campbelltown taking the power play with two overs to go. They have to. It'll be Jason Ralston to bowl over number 19. I want to be careful not to get deposited. These two will like a bit of pace on the ball. They can rack up a couple of big overs here. They'll need to go at about 40 and over here. 45 and over. So no... No front foot, f no balls, and uh, no full tosses. No head, head highs. And Campbelltown certainly going to make a fight of it to the end. Good to see. Now Ralston, right arm over, away from us. That one driven down the ground, driven nicely. I'll turn for two. Better from Campbelltown this afternoon. They take another two. Courtney to 13. Nine for one, two, three. Ralston in again. That one's been hit high and long. It'll be over the head, will it? Yes, just. 
And they'll take another two. McTaggart does the fielding. Nine for one, two, five. Courtney to 15. Or was it only a single there? No, it had to be two because Courtney's back on strike. So nine for one, two, five. Ralston in. That's high. Oh, they very nearly messed it up with the wickets taken. It was caught Sam's in the end. Caught Sam's bold Ralston. And the final wicket goes. And that's the end of the innings. 125 all out. Courtney made 14. Sams was not a uh, Samet. Not out. 17. So Courtney actually made 15. It was 125 all out. In the end. That's about all I can tell you, unfortunately. We have some we've had some troubles with the uh, live scoring this afternoon, but I can tell you it was Randwick Petersham 5 for 193. The highlight was that. Cracking 100 from Jason Sanger. 114 off 58 balls. 11 fours, 6 sixes. That was the highlight by a long way. Campbelltown in reply never really got going. All out for 1 2 5 in the 19th over. So they'll share the honours here. Uh, can't even give you a full call of the card at the end of the innings, unfortunately. But Campbelltown go down. The margin will be 68 runs in the end. 68 runs, the final score at the conclusion. So Randwick take two from the two matches played today. Two totals past 180 will generally guarantee you the points, and they did today. 188 and 193 get them home. Campbelltown bowled out for 125. I'm Mike Sheen. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. I hope you've enjoyed the coverage. Campbelltown go down by 68 runs to Randwick Petersham. Until next time, October 14, when we have one day cricket here against UTS North Sydney. I'm Mike Sheen from MacArthur Sports Radio. Thank you for joining us. Good afternoon.